If you live in San Francisco, you've probably already been to Golden Gate Park because it is one of the largest parks in the entire world. Golden Gate Park is larger than New York Central Park and it stretches a full half mile wide and three miles across all the way from Masonic Avenue to Ocean Beach. The park contains an abundance of green foliage with nine different lakes, numerous waterfalls, three different dog run areas and even a nine hole golf course. Looking at this lushly verdant park today, it's hard to believe that at one time it was described as a dreary waste of shifting sand hills where a blade of grass could not be raised without four posts to keep it from blowing away. It was 1870 when plans for the park were first begun by this man, William Hammond Hall. Many Franciscans were initially dubious of Mr. Hall's plans, and though he had an impressive beginning, after 10 years, Mr. Hall was forced to leave his post, and the park became dry and brown and neglected. Fortunately, Golden Gate Park was eventually able to inspire the enthusiasm and respect needed by San Francisco citizens to keep the park healthy, green, and growing. So now you know, Golden Gate Park wasn't always the lush, verdant oasis from city living that we all know and love today. Once, it was just desolate, wild beach grasses and the occasional sand dune blowing in the wind. For this reason, the average San Francisco citizen was extremely dubious that Golden Gate Park would ever be turned into the lushly verdant playground we know and love today. Hard to believe, but true. <laughs>